After defeating James Brooke and Suyodana, Sandokan leaves Mothrasem to become the Raja of Qatar. Peace reigns, but a new threat looms, and the tiger is ready to roar again. Rajah's Tigers. This is the end for you, James Brooke. Not before I have the pleasure of taking your life. I'm afraid you're wrong again, Governor. No one can beat the tiger. <laughs> What are you screaming about? A nightmare. Labo and the tiger was on top of me. Oh, he's out of his mind. Better a dream tiger in Labuan than the hangman's noose in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who you're laughing at, you filthy vermin? I am Governor James Brooke. One soul of Borneo trembled at my name until a man named Sandokan took everything I had away from me. <laughs> but I swore I would have my revenge, and I will have it. Revenge not so easy when you are in chains. <laughs> if only there were a way to get these foul manacles off. If I were free, there would be nothing to stop me taking over the ship immediately. Mm, there is a way. The poor man's a mute. But his muscles talk for him. Isn't that right, Matty? There's a bad storm brewing, Captain. So I see, Lieutenant. Trim the sails for a strong northeaster. Hop to it! Sandokan, I would have been most pleased to attend your investiture, but I'm afraid my poor old bones won't let me undertake such a long trip so soon again. I do, however, have news regarding James Brooke. The ship taking him to Singapore and execution was wrecked in a hurricane with no survivors. I'm afraid our ex-governor has found eternal rest at the bottom of the ocean while his accomplice, Suoyodana, is still serving his sentence in prison in Delhi. The Tiger of Malaysia has brought peace to the Orient. Now the Raja of Kiltar must maintain it. <clears throat> May I come in, my lord? Who am I to stop you? Your Excellency, I am happy to introduce to you your new special advisor. <laughs> 
Well, little brother, what do you think? First rate. Classic tailoring, delicate, subtle colors. Which species of parrot was your inspiration? You mean your excellency is not pleased with my uniform of... of what? Now that you mention it, Lord Chamberlain, Grand Vizier, Vice Raja. I think the most fitting title would be Bearer of the Imperial Chameleon. <laughs> Just a minute. You're my little brother and you're the Raja. That must make me something a little more impressive and high sound. Sander can. What are you waiting for, darling? Your subjects are acclaiming you, can't you hear? <laughs> Go to the window and wave to them. Sam Biglion! Open the gates, let them all in. All of them? Of course, all of them. Isn't such a bad deal, right, Paco? <laughs> Based out chameleon. <laughs> Would you take me for a check or something? <laughs> <laughs> Your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to display the gifts that have been sent to His Highness the Raja. Observe the first gift, if you will, a Malayan crits of exquisite workmanship. It's golden hilt set off by rubies from the people of Kiltar to their new sovereign. From the Sultan of Doomling to Kildar's new lord, this magnificent Sumatra necklace, a worthy gift for the world's most beautiful Maharani. A Lipizaner stallion of extraordinarily noble lineage, gift of the Sultan Mohammed of Brunei. His name is Zoltan. <laughs> <laughs> Sultan. Oh. <laughs> From the Sultan of Chambai, this magnificent carpet, six years in the making. And for little Kamamuri, Count of Hirik, a gift from Lord Gwilonk, new governor of Labuan. <laughs> What's this for? Do you know, huh? Kalam? Used in a popular new game. Recently invented by the English, they kick it, I believe. Kick it? You mean... Like this? <laughs> yes, uh, you can also hit it with your head, but it's not a ladies' game, Nanny. The rules are very strict on that. <laughs> Forgive him, Nanny. <laughs> what in the world is that? I don't know, my lord. We found it this morning in front of the palace gates. Well, uncover it. Is this supposed to be some kind of joke? Hmm. Let's see what the note says. For the fearless tiger of Malaysia from an old hunter signed the White Raja. Do you know him? I've never heard of him. I wonder what this means. Whoever he is, he certainly has a strange sense of humor. Aren't you happy? Marianne, 
I don't know if I can handle all this adulation. Were all those gifts not to your liking, Your Majesty? Are you making fun of me too now? No, I know how you feel. Ever since we've been here, I've missed the life we used to have on Mount Prisem. Good old Mount Prisem. I wonder if the quick descent ropes are still hanging from the cliffs. I imagine they're just shreds and tatters by now. As soon as I laid eyes on that island, I knew I'd found my hideout. Then the tigers joined me. We have a job here. Let's show them what the tigers can do. We faced so many adventures together. Battles, dangers, every man always ready to risk his life for the others. Even when the English were after us and Suyudana was trying to destroy us, we always came through. It can't be all over now. The tigers live on. The tigers live on. I'm still the tiger. I know you are, dearest. And no hunter in the world will ever manage to tame you, not even I. <laughs> now, good night. Sweet dreams, my darling. just tried to kill Sandra Ken. Oh, that's a very good reason. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled, Sam Big Leong. He might be hidden right in here where they've stored the gifts. Be careful. You can never tell with a nocturnal marauder. He might be any place. Well, he's not in here. <gasps> Little brother, you just scared me half to death, you know? Better a shock than a knife in the ribs. Anyway, he's not in here. I've looked everywhere. He might have escaped through one of the windows. No, they're all closed. Where are Marianne and Kamamori? I said Jervatol and Patan to guard their rooms. Good, then let's continue the search. Come on. We need a new plan. Great Master Confucius say, if first ship is lost, then take new ship. Perhaps your bright will change our tank, and it'll be worse than death for Sandokan. We'd even look inside the teapots, sugar bowls, and cream jugs. Believe me, little brother, that fellow is long gone. No, he's still here. I can feel it. All I feel is an empty cavernous sensation right here in my stomach. Well, uh, did you find him? What are you doing out here? An assassin's on the loose. You should stay in your quarters. Marry him. Won't you please try to calm this bonehead down? He's had us on the run all night long. Oh, Sandokan, you said it yourself. No one can get in or out of the palace. All right. I suppose we can call off the search. And get ourselves a good, healthy breakfast. But I still don't like it. Oh, come on. Let up. This is the safest room in the palace. I want you to stay here until we found him, Marianne. Well, if he dares to show his face in here, we can take care of ourselves. I won't be locked up with the women. I'm coming with you. Ha! Yeah! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See what I can do, Santa Cap? If you like, I'll fight Sam Biglion. <laughs> All right. You've made your point. Just keep your eyes open. Well, I still don't think she Speaking should... Speaking of open eyes, I may be old, but I'm far from blind. And I say that someone's overturned the fire dogs in this fireplace. Just look! Nanny, tell the housekeeper if you don't like the way the cleaning's being done. 
The fireplace. What a fool I am. Why didn't I think of it right away? Our intruder escaped up the chimney. It therefore stands to reason that he's hiding on the roof. Hmm. Sam Biglion, go get some wood. And you, Kamamori, go find some gunpowder. If he tries to get back down, we'll cook his goose. Come on, to the roof! <laughs> the two of you stay here and make sure that the door's bolted. I hope they find him. Yes, at least we'll find out who it is. I don't understand. Sandokan has no enemies left. Oh, every Raja, good or bad, has enemies. <laughs> There's no one up here, said Lucan. You sure he didn't sprout wings, little brother? Something strange is going on. He has to be up here. How strange. It smells as though someone's let a stick of incense in here. I can't keep my eyes open. Nanny. The window. I must open the... That's the falcon that attacked me! You're getting pretty handy with that toad sticker, chum. You got it! It's down behind that chimney stack! Look! It's got a ring attached to one of its legs! A mail-delivering falcon! I thought pigeons had the exclusive on that! There was obviously a message here at one time, but someone took it off! Falcons, <laughs> messages, fireplaces? This is really getting curious! What are those men doing down there? Hey, that's Nanny! What's she doing? Who says it's Nanny? What's going on? Guards, shut the gates! Don't let that card out of the palace grounds! I'll have to stop them myself! <laughs> Sea Tigers in Luna Bay! Right, see you there! <laughs> Go to the throne room and warn them. I'm going down to the harbor to get the boat. There's no time to lose. Please, I beg you, my dearest.
Old sure shot here never misses. Come on, he's at our mercy. Now to finish him off. No! He's wounded! There's nothing he can do against us! If you really think that, step forward! Before he can reach the gun, you fools! from hostile environment. Wayanka, hop to it! Kianka, he made it! She's trying to make a run for it! Get those cannons reloaded! Wait, Giannis, someone's going aboard! Let me have a look. It's Marianne! Ready to fire! No, hold your fire! We mustn't run the risk of hurting Marianne! you want from me? I am the hunter and you are my prey. The White Badger! Sandokan! Hey, what's wrong with your shoulder, little brother? Leave me alone. Let me take a look does at you. Doesn't matter. What does matter is that they've kidnapped Marianne! I'll find you, White Raja, wherever you are. Just remember, there's nothing more dangerous than a wounded tiger.